Evening fellow coin collectors, coin snatcher here. So I don't have any 50p's to bring you tonight or any 10p's but after almost a week and a half of moving things about I finally settled on a new layout for the 50p collection. So up in the top shelf we still have the 50 years or sorry the 50 pence sports collection with all the Olympics coins in it. And then to the right we have the commemorative coins starting from 1997 and going the whole way up to the present time and a couple of little error coins and NIFC coins in there. And then underneath the Olympic coins we have from 1997 up to 2021 all the uh, Britannia and Shield coins. So that's the very top shelf. And then on the next shelf at the very start we have a 10 shilling note. We have a couple of the very old 69, 1970, 50p's, a 73 proof p, 50p, and a couple of other little error 50p's mainly, which are in the capsules, and then a little Britannia thing. And then at the end we have a, well the back pile here is Olympic 50p's, then we have uh, normal 50, well, commemorative 50 piece from the UK, and then we have territorial 50 piece as well. And then uh, starting off in there, you have the 1992 to 93 uh, commemorative coin, uh, two versions of the 1994 D Day coin. So the blue one there is a rarer one than this one, which is quite common. And then moving down, we've got every bunk coin that's been released so uh, you'll see the latest edition there the blue peter 2009 the uh kew gardens 2009 to go in there next and then we got a wwf benjamin britain as we pan over you can see all the different 50 piece so this brings you up to 2018 and uh the actor unite 50p then on the next shelf down we have a little set of five date stamp 50p's which you get from the Westminster Mint so these are limited to around 500 each and it keeps the coins in nice condition condition having them in the capsule uh, we've got a Isaac Newton 50p from Loughborough Inn which they uh, released a few hundred at, at this inn a couple of days I think before they released it into circulation you got a set of the 2016 Beatrix Potter 50 piece. So they're not the highest of grades, but I just fancied having this set of those. Uh, the first set of Potters and the Puddle Duck there's a 67, so that's not too bad. And then at the other end, you have some more date stamp 50 piece. And. You also have a 1973 uh, commemorative 50p there. The one in the end isn't a date stamp one, but that's the 2015 Battle of Britain. But that's the fourth portrait, the IRB one. And then behind these coins, we have Paddington Bear, and it runs through more of the bunk coins and finishes off this shelf with the dinosaur coins that were released so that was the first set of six dinosaur coins three color and three color bunk so six in total and before these were all squeezed onto two shelves so now they've been spread out a bit they've been put onto three shelves and we've also left space at the end because there's six more dinosaur ones to go in there uh, to bring the collection reasonably up to date uh, <coughs> down here we have a graded Isaac Newton and a graded People's Act coin and a couple of change checker coins, another Isaac Newton coin. Uh, the Isaac Newton coin is my favourite coin so quite a few of those and then we got at the back uh, you can just see that sort of luminous pinky orange colour uh, which was oh forget which one that was now. Oh, Rosalind Franklin that one was. Uh, 
and I've knocked all these over. So the ones I'm just putting back up here were all the uh, Pooh Bear ones. There is six of those released as well. So quite a few to get in the Christmas one. And then uh, the most recent ones here, which ends up being with the last two, which are the, the Colour Bank and the Plain Blank Bank uh, Team GB coins. And then on the next shelf, uh, at the back of the shelf, you have the silver proof coins. So it starts off, uh, quite hard to see it in there, but it starts off with the 92, 93 EU 50p with the table of ministers. And then beside that, you've got the D Day one and the 1999. This strictly isn't a commemorative 50p, but I bought this anyway because it sort of released as a commemorative set. And then it goes on, nice example there of uh, the NHS 50p. And these are all the silver proofs at the back. So the WSPU one's a nice one as well. And the four minute mile. And then on the shelf in front, you have the PI4 editions of the same coins. So you'll see these are these are all the double thickness coins. They're bigger than a standard, well twice the weight of a standard 50p. And the mint each is considerably lower as well. And it runs through it, it mirrors what's behind. So standard coin at the back and the silver proof PA for at the front. And then we have the Victoria Cross, the Boy Scouts one, which is a really nice 50p as well. And we have a space here, which is for Kew Gardens. So the silver proof, the PA41, uh, can't buy everything in the same year. So uh, <laughs> just have to see when that happens. Uh, continuing on there, you've got the WWF 50p, Christopher Ironside the Benjamin Britten one and then in the front row the same again PA4 coins so exactly the same same ones missing uh, and again Benjamin Britten there he's quite a rare one so moving on then to the next shelf we have uh, the Glasgow Games 50p so PA4 one at the front and it should be a silver proof one at the back but for some reason when I bought this the description said silver proof, but when it arrived, it was a PF41 as well. So I have two of those. And then beside that is the Battle of Britain 50 piece. So you got oh, you got the standard silver proof uh, Jody Clark portrait, and behind it you got the IRB fourth portrait. So that's a rare one as well. And then. In front of that, we have the Battle of Britain 50p, uh, fourth and fifth portrait as well. So the fifth portrait by Jody Clark, not so rare. The fourth portrait behind it, or behind it, is a very rare one indeed. So again, nice thick coin, and there's not many of those knocking apart because they were only sold in in the sets, which were only on sale for part of the year. So there's a gap here for 2016, which will be the Beatrix Potter Silver Proof and PA4, and then the four colour coins from the same year. 2016 had quite a lot of coins out, so you had the Team GB, the Battle of Hastings. Uh, the one at the end here is my favourite one, which is the Isaac Newton one. And then moving on to the front row, PA4 coins again, the whole way down. And then at the end, the first two of the 2017 colour uh, Beatrix Potter coins. So you got Tom Kitten there and Peter Rabbit. And then on the final shelf on this cabinet, we have the infamous Benjamin Bunny, the uh, most widely circulated uh, 50p. It's a commemorative one. And behind it, Jeremy Fisher. 
and the representation of the people art which is a, a really nice coin even in this sort of dull light the coins have got a, a nice luster to them so with everything being moved about everything got a clean all the capsules got a dusting and all the boxes got a dust in so everything's back to being nice and sparkly again uh, you got the first two uh, what do you call that's Paddington Bear so the first two silver proofs there and then you got another two of the 2017 or certain of these 2018 uh, Beatrix Potter so Peter Rabbit, Mrs Tittlemus, the Taylor Gloucester and Flopsy Family down at the bottom there and then beside that you have the Christmas 50p you got two of the Gruffalo 50p's from 2019 because the one at the back and the one at the front are different colours and then to end this cabinet you have the the two Paddington Bear coins so if I just take a step back from this cabinet and you can just see how many 50p's are really there at the top you have a uh, cardboard albums that you can put the 50p's in so you can see there there's there's quite a lot quite a lot of cleaning quite a lot of moving it takes a while to organize everything into the exact sort of layout that i want and then up here we have uh, some of the isle of man tt 50p's which have started to collect uh well i started years ago but uh, I haven't bought too many of them. Uh, all the Bailiwick of Jersey 50 pieces. A full run there as well of the castle. And then uh, the Frisia flowers as well. Uh, two sets of those. And then here we have the Isle of Man tray. So you'll see the top are the seven coin set. Uh, and then underneath that. It starts off with the Christianity and Man 50 piece. Starts off with the Milner Towers. If you collect uh, the 50 piece, the Milner Towers, there's a few of them are quite rare. You could only get them in sets. So some of them are inexpensive, some of them more expensive. But there's a full run of the Milner's Towers there. And then we're on to the Locked in Rams which I did get a couple of gold plated ones, must have had a few Guinness that night uh, a couple of the other Isle of Man 50 piece, the cricket set and the most recent Locked in Rams and then on the tray beside that we have Gibraltar so again starting from 1997 you have the Dolphins and then you have the Battle of Trafalgar 50 piece and there's a full run of those. Uh, 2008 is Our Lady of Europa 50p. And then you have more of the Battleship 50p's. And then you have the the Monkey 50p's. Uh, the Gibraltarian Referendum 2017 coin. Uh, Calpe House. And that was the Sailing 50p. I've got a couple more to get on the uh, Gibraltar collection and those were just a couple of the christmas ones that i picked up as well underneath that then we have the celebrating 50 years of the 50p set so the pa4 culture set the proof set and the bunk set i've still got the silver proof set of that and then at the back you have the pa4 military set pa4 silver proof uh, base metal proof and the bunk set so a whole shelf for those on the next shelf you have the strike your own coins so you've got every strike your own 50p that they've released so far so nice to keep that collection going the most recent one is the decimal day 50p which is a, a really really nice 50p so we'll see what comes next and then on the shelf under that, uh, we start off with Peter Rabbit, uh, the 2019 Peter Rabbit. And then we have Stephen Hawking. So with the Stephen Hawking, we have the P4 
here, four coin at the front again, and a silver proof at the back. Uh, Sherlock Holmes, 50 years at the 50p, and the PA4 equivalents at the front again. And then the Gruffalo and Moss silver proof 50p, the Wallace and Gromit 50p, and the Snowman 20, 2019 50p. And then on the next shelf down is the Peace, Prosperity and Friendship with All Nations, the Brexit 50p. And then the first release of the dinosaur coins. So you had three different ones. You had Megalosaurus, Iguanodon, and Hylaeosaurus. And they came in a standard silver proof with issue limit of 3000. Or at the back, you could get the color versions, which had an issue limit of 7000. And again, really nice coins. And then later on in the year, uh, Winnie the Pooh was released. So Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, and at the back, Timothy, was that Timothy, I think? And then beside that, we had the Diversity Built Britain 50p. So the standard silver proof one and the PA4 one. And then finally, we have Team GB. So silver proof Team GB and PA4 Team GB. There is uh, six of the new dinosaur coins that are going to need to go in here. The Decimal Day 50p needs to go in here and so does the John Logie Baird. So this will end up going over to about here. And then we've got another shelf now empty, ready to take the next run of 50p's. Under that just a couple of bits and pieces. So if you ever thought uh, coin collecting was not an expensive hobby, you can see there just the, the volume of invoices that I have, and that's just the ones I've kept, really. Hey, he looks happy about everything sitting there, blazed out of his skull. Now, where we used to have the proof sets, which I decided to sell a lot of the proof sets, uh, we've got now the Territories 50Ps instead. So these will probably have another rearrangement at some point as well, but just to give you an idea of the way that cabinet looks at the minute. But I'll run through this as well. So at the top we got the uh, Tall Ships coins from the Pop Joy Mint, six of those in total. Uh, really nice set of coins. Underneath that you got the Queen's Coronation set, the 2019-2020 Peter Pan set, you got the big tree set, which I like to display just because of the Union Jacks, <laughs> which is a, a really, really nice set. And then you have a set that is quite popular, which is the Concord set, three coin set, the Concord one, Victory, uh, Victory Collection, seven coins, Queen's Coronation is five coins, and the Peter Pan sets are both five coins each as well. Uh, on the next shelf down we have Sea Creatures, which is the, oh, bring the phone up, Sea Creatures is the current set I'm working on, uh, so we're four of the coins into the six for that set, that's a really nice set of coins with uh, different fish on it. Then you have a Primate set, which is four different coins, this opens up magnetically, the coins are in little capsules behind. A uh, really nice set of coins from the BIOT, the British Indian Ocean Territory, with turtles. And I think that was a five coin set. Here you have a Treasury Isle of Man 50p, which is an error one. So that's the leaflet explaining the error. And then you have a D-Day 50p with colour on it. The VE Day 50p, colourised again. Uh, the Penny Black, which is a really nice stamp. It has a black finish on it, which is quite unique. And Bodie McBoatface, the first issue. So a uh, really nice coin. I like the Bodie McBoatface ones. And the second issue of Bodie McBoatface as well. And then beside that, you have a 
silver proof set of jersey and Guernsey 50 piece uh, struck the same as the original 1969 coins but on the smaller uh, 2020 planchets and a couple of the bunk ones as well maybe not the easiest to see there bring that up to the light there you go there we go three lines and then oh, I've nearly missed it there we have another one of the uh, treasury letters and another one of the error 50 piece they're the house of uh, representatives 50 piece now on the next shelf down we've got an island man 2017 house of representatives or house of keys 50p there's the penguin set of 50p's uh, that's 2017 beside that you have the 2020 set of four penguins and these are all colorized they're really nice uh, the five coin set and another five coin set in there uh, so 2017 18 19 and 2020 uh, these two little coins here, quite a nice set. So, this is the Guernsey Liberation 50p, and beside that, we have the Jersey one as well. And then, beside that, we have the same penguin coin as these ones, but these four are the silver proof, so there's no color on them, they're just plain silver. Uh, limited issue, those coins, quite rare. And then, there's a silver body boat body big boat face the second coin they released they didn't do a silver proof of the first one and this one is the queen victoria coat of arms i thought it was a nice 50p but it is just a bunk one but put it in a little red box it looks nice and then finally there's a d-day uh, silver proof 50p as well on the next shelf down at the back we have the current collection that i'm working on so this is the sea creatures 50ps and these are the silver proof ones so you can see you've got the uh, chagas anemone fish oh. the powder blue tang the emperor angel fish and the checkerboard wrasse and then there'll be another four of those to come and in the front you have the same boats that were on the very top shelf the bunk ones but these ones are the silver proof so again the tall ships and you have all six of those really nice set of coins uh, these coins have a mintage of 175 each and then beside that you have a set of three concord uh, 50 piece so the same as the bunk set which was up, up a few shelves but this is the silver proof set so a bit rarer as well and then on the next shelf down we have my titanic collection so you got a titanic five pound coin which is a bunk one there and then you got a metal wall plate with a 1912 penny on it you got a super strike uh like a med medallion and the same strike but a smaller version first day cover of the Titanic I really like the uh, stamps on this so that's why I bought that not so much for the coin I already had one of those and there's a gold plated five pound jersey coin uh, at the back is the the Royal Mint uh, the alderney Titanic five pound coin silver proof one it's a it's a beautiful coin and the same coin as the first day cover that had the stamps on it and a second titanic metal wall plate where the uh, the 1912 penny has just fallen down and then at the front just three little novelty titanic memorial coins a couple of coasters from the royal mint <laughs> a belfast telegraph uh, which is the the newspaper of belfast the coin that came with that another coaster and another little memorial coin and then on the next shelf down this is uh just my sort of 10p shelf now uh so it, it, we do have a commonwealth games two pound coin there which is going to be moved but we got the 2018 
add is that 10 piece of full set and then some extras as well we've got a 2009 royal mint all change set uh, the great british wilds wildlife 10 piece look at my video on that uh, at the back there we've got the anniversary of decimalization pack which is a, a nice pack to have as well uh, the wildlife 10 piece set which is now complete which i've done videos on uh, 1983 bunk one pound coin uh, this was just a little thing I liked it was the Isaac Newton one pound coin I don't think the phone's gonna focus oh, there you go Isaac Newton one pound note with the Isaac Newton 50p and then we have a Shakespeare uh, histories coin we have the Shakespeare tragedies coin and the Britannia two pound coin and then, oh, with all the football excitement, it was the 2010 FIFA uh, medal as well. And there's a 2010 shield set in there, I think. Uh, just while we're here, just out of interest, this coin here has the inscription on it for king and country. So this is the rare edge inscription error two pound coin uh got the inscription off the 2016 world war one coin instead of its own inscription so that's a really nice coin to have uh yeah <coughs> something true error coin as well and then just a couple of little postcards that i picked up randomly while i've been at the royal mint i really like that one with the in fact i think somebody sent that to me the Royal Mint or Westminster it came in packaging of some sort but it was a really nice postcard uh, behind that you have a parrot silver proof coin that's a scarlet macaw parrot and on this particular coin the wings actually come away from the coin so they're sort of uh, I think they're glued on in one way or another but uh, it's a it's a really nice coin I think you can just about see there the way the wings come up yeah really really nice coin one of my favorites so I do, do love my 50p's but if I see something different I'll collect it as well and then finally at the very bottom here we have a couple of bits and pieces so uh, at the back there there's a five pound coin there's a couple of the Queen's Beasts five pound coins here. There's a 2011 50p. One of the later additions now to the collection, the Britannia one ounce coin from 2010. There's a big Britannia oh, paperweight behind that. That's brass, it's really, really heavy. And we have a couple of novelty Q gardens coins there i uh, got the manchester united gold proof medallion for old trafford in its rather fancy box uh, oh an aa015 pound note just sitting above a box of royal mint jelly beans uh, and then an undated 20p there in a box with his certificate uh, some cheap album that I got that I haven't thrown away yet. The 20p first day cover. A few foreign coins. A couple of really bad, and I mean these are atrocious, really bad fake 50p's. One pound coins there. Two pound coin. Uh, these two pound coins were part of my latest purchase, which is the video before this, where I bought the 2009 Blue Peter uh, coin, which is one of the really rare ones. Uh, an old, old coin there. What's that? Sixpence, nicely worn as well. You can just tell people have rubbed their fingers on that for many a year. And then we've got some old Alaman crowns there, which have colour on them. Uh, we've got a two pound coin here where the centre popped out of it quite badly worn as well so 
I don't think it's a coin that's been mistreated. I think it's just not struck very well. You can see where it's it's just not gone inside itself properly. And to have a two pound coin, I had to have a one pound coin to go with it as well. So one pound error coin where they, the center is popped out of it. So that's just about everything in the collection, guys. Just thought, seeing as I'd remodeled all the cabinets, I would do a new video, uh, as much for my own record as, as for you guys. But uh, yeah, it's looking quite impressive and there's room, room to grow now with, without everything being so squashed in. So that's quite a long video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, like, subscribe, and uh, plenty more videos to come. That's it for now. Peace and love. Coin Snatcher out.